Hey Collective, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers, thank you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Come on over. Welcome. Okay, if you're interested in a personal reading, all that information and more is located in the description box. Okay, I'm going to jump right in, Collective. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Um, I kept hearing everything is going to be all right. It's like a, is that a Bob Marley song? Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. Okay, and then I saw the Justice card. I'm seeing the Justice card in my third eye, okay? So, Spirit has a message for you here. Spirit, why shouldn't the collective worry? Why shouldn't they worry? For some of you, spirits handling something in spiritual well, well, courts. <laughs> okay? So, to the, it's to being taken to the higher ups. Okay? The high, high, high court. Okay? You have the Supreme Court. You got the high court. Your case is being taken there. Right? You got woman holding a coin. Very nice. And then you got victory. Love it, love it, love it. And you have happy family. So let's see. Let's see here. Hmm. This has to do with stability. This has to do with working hard. This has to do with being protected. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, don't worry. Don't worry, boo-boo. Got you, collective spirit. Please clarify, woman holding a coin. Woo -hoo -hoo, child. Woman holding a coin. Please clarify, woman holding a coin. Someone in this collective, either you do now or you will, you will have a handle on your finances, okay? I mean, like, a tight grip, but in terms of you managing your ship like a boss. Like, you could be someone that budgets or you learned how to budget. You know everything that's coming in, where it's going, when it's going out, what else. You know your finances, okay? You manage your money like a boss. You learned how to do that, okay? Someone in this collective, you should make your budget sheet like a template because it's really on point. Please clarify a woman holding a coin. There's something here about you investing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this. Some of you, you do very well for yourself. You're stable. Okay, this is Queen of Coins energy. You're a mom. You could be a business owner. But you take care of what needs to be taken care of in your life. You're very responsible. You're very practical. Now, you gave your big cup to someone. Okay? And you ended up losing. It turned out to be a liability, not an asset. It turned out to be a loss. Okay? A wasted time energy finances there could have been some kind of corruption there because with the ace of coins in reverse and justice in reverse someone you could have realized that someone was using you for your finances or your stability so please clarify ace of cups mm -hmm. oh wow it's beautiful <laughs> so please clarify ace of coins in reverse Sure, please clarify justice in reverse. Someone did you dirty. They, they, they treated you unfairly. There was some kind of injustice here where someone left you out in the cold and went and worked with somebody else. It could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone could just maybe like pay pay prostitutes. They like to pay for sex or someone dissed you for a lady or a man in the night, right? But you know what, collective? This is why Spirit's saying everything's going to be all right. 
because this was a blessing in disguise here because spirit needed you to separate from somebody okay and spirit had to orchestrate it in a way where the sting would be so bad you weren't ever going to look back that way again you were never going to deal with that person again like these are situations where after something like this happens you will never give anybody an opportunity to do that to you again no and you really tighten up after that right you're not like I love you and walking around with your heart on your sleeve and giving your cup to everybody now and trying to heal and help everybody. You're not doing that anymore after this experience. No, this helped you to learn how to be single, stable, independent, self-sufficient, filling your own cups, doing your own thing, loving your damn self. Mm -hmm. Spirit needed you to learn how to get in that energy and stay in that energy. Spirit wants you to attract from that energy mm -hmm. you needed to separate from someone spirit wanted you to be okay with being alone mm -hmm. being alone is different from being lonely be okay with being in your own energy because someone did do you dirty here yeah they abused their power they treated you unfairly someone created some kind of injustice by turning their back on you and working with somebody else they could have went back to an ex to go work on something with them or someone here, someone likes ladies or men of the night. Yeah. Someone could have just wanted to be single and just want to sleep with people whenever and just, they don't have a problem paying for it because they don't have to deal with any type of relationship shit. Mm -hmm. I also feel like for some of you, somebody dissed you and dismissed you because Someone else was jealous of you. There was a third party here that was jealous of you. Could have went off on this person. Like, don't talk to the collective anymore or separate from the collective. Mm -hmm. Someone was very jealous of you. Mm -hmm. They have a bad attitude. Here, please clarify victory. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's burdening someone. <laughs> this person wants victory with you. Spirit, please clarify Knight of Coins. Yeah. And they've been thinking about that. They've been thinking about coming towards you. But this is somebody who wants to make their next move, their best move with you, okay? They can't just step to you after they dissed you the way how they dissed you for this floozy over here, okay? Mm -hmm. it, it, I say that this is a blessing in disguise because someone really helped you to step into your power and embody your power. So it wasn't a loss. You could have lost, some of you could have lost finances or lost some of your stability or, or I feel like it wasn't a loss. I feel like it was delayed or it was deferred. Okay. Because it, it didn't matter what this person did. You're still good. It's like after something happened with someone, you just decided to be single and, and single suits you. Yeah, it does. You do, you're thriving. You're absolutely thriving with this new sense of, newfound sense of self-love. Mm -hmm. All right. Spirit, please clarify Eight of Cups. Yeah. Oh, boy. Someone's in their head. Like it, or someone could be worried about going to prison here. Someone's worried about going to jail. Someone knows that they're going to jail. For some of you, Spirit is saying you're going to get the victory because someone's ass is going to jail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. They should have stayed in your boat with you, okay? Because that boat is going somewhere. Okay? Someone's boat is sinking here. Mm -hmm. Because they don't want to change. They want things to be unbalanced. and But it's burdening. It's burdening them. Things are not going to change in this person's life. Mm-hmm. And they're thinking about how they took too long to do something with you. Spirit, can I get one more on Night of Coins and the Hermit? Yeah, I told you. And they're going back and forth, back and forth. There might be some kind of deliberation here.
someone for some of you somebody is worried that if they get sentenced you're not going to wait for them or someone may be afraid that if they get sentenced you're not going to let them see their children like you're not going to bring them to the jail to visit their kids you're not going to do that someone knows that because of how they treated you in the past if they go to jail it's done yeah you're not waiting for them Someone also feels like you're going to leave them. Like intuitively they know that you're going to leave them. Hmm. It is stressing this person the fuck out. Yeah. They feel like things are not going to change. Someone's also in a mental prison here. They could be worried that someone's going to leave them after some kind of some kind of verdict or decision is made mm -hmm. like if you're going to court with someone and you guys final settle things finally settle things this person is in their head because they know it's done yeah All right with the, the with the death in reverse they don't want it to be done but they're, they're like trying to prevent the inevitable by being in denial, but inside they know that you guys are going to be going your separate ways and it's, it's over. Mm -hmm. And Spirit said that's a blessing in itself, right? You are going to really thrive being single. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify happy family. Wow. Oh boy. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay, so there's another storyline for someone here. Someone dogged you out for a third party, okay? Who could have actually bullied them into doing it. Mm -hmm. This person is, their third party is jealous of you for some reason. And it, it's not for some reason, it's for many reasons. <laughs> Collective. You got your shit, you got it on lock, right? You, you're doing great, right? This is someone's third party is actually jealous of you because you are you love yourself, you're independent, okay? You seem to have this level of emotional fulfillment, like you're good with you and you're doing the damn thing, right? Yeah, and it's very attractive. This is an energy of, I don't, I don't need a man, I, I want one, but I don't need one. I can wait. I can wait for the right person to come around. I don't have to stay in a relationship with no bum or no hobosexual or someone who cheats on me all the time because I'm afraid to be alone. I like my own company. I actually fucking love my own company. I can wait. Somebody is jealous of you for that. <laughs> this person's third party, whoever they're with, they watch you. Mm -hmm. And you exude this like, what up? <laughs> kind of energy like yo sup sup you good like you're solid man mm -hmm. it's bouncy I like it it's confidence and this person lacks confidence in themselves right and they don't like when they see someone who has something they don't have they hate on them for it because this person is this third party is with your person and your person wants to leave them mm-hmm and they're codependent on your person. And you don't need your person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's there's some jealousy there, you know? It's like a competition that, that you're not in, right? You're in competition with themselves. Oh, boy. Or you're not aware of. Or you are and you just don't care because you're in your own lane and you're doing your own thing and you're happy. This person sees success with you, Okay. They are in some kind of mental prison about walking away. They know they need to leave this third party. This person knew, knew that they were supposed to leave the third party from a long time. Mm -hmm. But they lacked, I feel like someone lacked harmony and balance. They could have been conflicted or feeling obligated to someone, this person. They could have children with this third party. But it's really an energy of just being stagnant, like not doing anything. We'll see. Spirit, what's death in reverse? I'm curious. Can I get some more on death in reverse? 
this person feels like they will have victory if they walk away, finally walk away from feeling trapped with somebody or stuck with someone. And they've been thinking about this one for a long time, right? It's like from the past, they've been thinking about this, leaving this person to present day. It's taking them a long time. Yeah, look, this person feels like if they stay with this third party, they're not going to have any stability. There is no harmony. There's no balance. Okay. I'm hearing sure footing. Like they don't know. Yeah. yeah. Spirit said, yeah, there's going to be, continue to be a lack of harmony and balance. Mm hmm. This person is losing their patience. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're fed up. Please clarify, Ten of Wands. Yeah, and they don't love this person. And this is why they feel stuck and trapped and they're unhappy because they knew that they should have left someone from a long time ago and they're still there with them, right? And they've, they're at the end of their rope here. Yeah. Because now it's just, uh, I don't even love you. Why am I here? Why am I still here? Please clarify um, Eight of Swords. What's Eight of Swords? They feel like they'll be better off without this person. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're oh, they're really focusing on something. Right? They're worried about something. Mm hmm This is mental prison, though, right? Yeah. Someone is waiting. They feel like they've been waiting for so long to make some kind of move here. And now they're running out of patience or they could have been waiting for the third party to change or for things to change or transform in the relationship. And they have not. Mm -hmm. And now this person is going back and forth about leaving the third party. Spirit, please clarify two of swords. Yeah, because they're viewing this third party like you're not my person, right? You are a false flame. You are a karmic relationship. And I'm really fucking tired of being with you. I don't have feelings for you anymore. I don't love you. And I think I'll be better off without you. And I know I'll be better with the collective. Spirit, please clarify six of wands. Yeah. Oh, mm, boy. This person lacks courage and confidence and strength. To take some kind of action though they have a family with this um this third party here so please clarify eight of coins because someone is thinking now i feel like someone is looking how they, they're thinking about how they'll be viewed if they just up and leave yeah, but they're angry and they want to. They want to just leave. Can I get one more on Eight of Coins and the King of Swords in Reverse? Yeah. And they're, it's someone who's so mad. There could be a big blow up argument and this person just packs their shit or they already had their shit packed in the car. <laughs> in the trunk and was just waiting for the last fight okay the last supper they knew it was going to be over mm -hmm. and it's because they're so miserable with this third party here someone could have two kids collective your person could have two kids with this third party this could be a lgbtq relationship Please clarify the Empress in reverse. They feel like this person is a distorted feminine or they're a fake divine feminine. They feel like this person is too aggressive, right? Yeah, they're releasing this person because they feel like this person is mean, right? And they bring a lot of anxiety, right? They're indecisive. They don't take care of what they're supposed to take care of. And they've delayed them from doing a lot of things that they want to do. They view this third party as being toxic, right? A bad choice, a bad habit. Spirit, please clarify nine of wands in reverse. And they're ready to give up on this because it's just too hard. It's too challenging being with this person. 
whoever they were, they're mean. They're mean. They're jealous. They like to try to bully and intimidate. They're deceptive. They're not trustworthy. They're not faithful. It's like, okay. They have self-esteem issues. Someone could have body dysmorphia. Like who they see in the mirror is not who's really there. Like they think they look completely different. Someone is not taking care of themselves. And someone in this collective, you're dealing with someone who's third party, may be addicted to like plastic surgery or something. They're always adding, 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 adding. And it's like, it's it's starting to just look away. It doesn't, it's not attractive. It just looks weird now. And your person is not attracted to this person anymore. They're making some decision here. Yeah. To let go, to give up, just be done with it, right? It's like, it's too much. I just, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Yeah, they're feeling defeated. <laughs> right? This is someone who's going to throw in the towel, wave that white flag. I give up. I'm done. I don't want to be with you anymore. All right? They were going back and forth about this because they have a family with this third party. But I feel like they're going to give up the ghost here. Yeah. And just deal with the repercussions or the consequences of their actions. Mm -hmm. Wow. There is going to be a court. For some of you, this is a court situation that's happening outside of you. So your person could be going through court with someone. You could be going through court with someone. But someone is going to give up because... <sighs> hmm. It's going to be too hard. And some kind of judgment is going to be called here for an injustice. This is like, um, okay, so this could be a situation where someone leaves you collective for someone else and thinks that they can leave you broke and desolate and you're going to take the L. But you end up actually being really good on yourself and being able to maintain it. You're doing more than maintaining, you're thriving, right? And they were under this impression that you couldn't do it by yourself, right? Now, this is something that backfires on someone because someone could be trying to paint a picture of you in in the in the justice system or to like a court that you are not stable. But the court is going to see that this person destabilized you and then try to highlight the fact that you're not stable, but you actually are. So it's actually going to work for you in your favor that even though this person tried to throw you out of the boat, you knew how to swim. Mm -hmm. You're actually a very strong swimmer. Mm -hmm. This person is going to feel defeated because it's like every type of tactic that they tried, it just backfired on them. You always got the victory. It's like someone was successful after someone tried to um, destroy their self-esteem, their self-confidence, tried to beat someone down with their words, tried to break, the, break their spirit. Someone could have went and, like I said, either someone likes to pay for prostitutes or ladies or men of the night or someone went to a third party thinking that you were going to feel away and be stuck there. They could have said, oh, my person's better than you or my person, my new person has this nice job and what are you doing and blah, blah, blah. And try to paint this picture like you weren't, you weren't on anything. And it didn't go for, it didn't work for them. It did not work. Someone tried to paint this picture like they were the more stable one in the family or they're the most successful one in the relationship, right? If you have children with this person, they were the more successful one. But you overcame what this person tried to do. And they really put in work to try to mind fuck you here. Yes, and make you unhappy and depressed and miserable and not being able to see things clearly because you're not healed. That's what they were trying to do. 
you released yourself from this low vibing, low self-esteem, want to be somebody but ain't nobody. They feel defeated now. Because they really did shoot themselves in the foot. Because you didn't lose your family. You didn't lose your stability. Right? All they did was solidify to you that they're not the one for you. Right? Right? Someone made it easy for you to not love them anymore. Because they were on some fuck shit with you. And they could have been doing it for a long time. This is someone who thinks about ways to like hurt people and have them up in their head and play mind games with them. And someone thought that by walking away from you that you were going to be struggling or walking away from you and walking into someone else's arms was going to just have you crumbling mm -hmm. and have you a mess. And it didn't. Right? Spirit said you got the victory. Because this person's not going to be stable. And that's, that shit's not changing for them, eh? <laughs> no, it's not. Because for some of you, this person could have left you thinking, oh, I'm with someone who has a better job and they drive a better car and they live in a better house. I'm on my come up. I'm in the bag. I met my bag. But they need somebody to help them out. You don't. This is someone who's always going to be jumping from person to person, always going to be on the lookout looking for someone else. Because they can't do it by themselves. They always need someone to assist them. And you, you don't need nobody. Just your guides, angels, ancestors, and the people that spirit sends. That's why this person, they're never going to be stable inside and they're never going to have stability. And Spirit said that shit's not going to change for them. It's always going to be imbalanced and there's always going to be disharmony in their life. You just wait. You just wait and see. And Spirit wanted you to see that this person, Spirit really wanted you to pay attention and see that this is not your person. Right? So you can give up the ghost. You can... Stop hoping that things are going to change with someone and go do your thing. You're free. You've been released. <laughs> okay, You're free. Go enjoy it. Because they tried it. They did. Someone did fuck around, but they found out hmm, that your happiness is divinely orchestrated. There's nothing they can do about it. They can't take your happiness from you. It comes from you. Okay, it comes from you, collective. They can't do any, they can do things to like get on your nerves and stuff, but you still have a choice if you're going to let it bother you or not, right? They tried it, but it didn't work. All it did was solidify that they are not your fucking person. Mm hmm. Wow. end up shooting themselves in the damn foot and wanting a second chance now actually i just want to see something spirit what is um what's judgment what is judgment this person's gonna have to give up yeah they regret they regret it All right this is somebody who regrets walking away from you giving up on the relationship not fighting for it not giving you the respect that you deserved. Spirit, please clarify. Not having respect for the relationship. Spirit, please clarify judgment. Yeah. And now you don't want them. No, you have no desire for them. You have no passion for them. You don't want anything to do with this person. They actually turned you all the way off. And someone is being judged here that they are not having no brand new starts, no passionate new beginnings with you. It's a wrap, right? Expeditiously. <laughs> yeah. And they regret it. Someone regrets losing your love. Mm-hmm. Look, you don't want them. 
You don't care if they're a soulmate or you have a soul tie or soul connection. You don't want them. There's other soulmates out there. And they know that you were their person, right? Or they know that they could have been. It could have been if they just acted right. But someone was on some kind of... I don't know, man. Someone was in the twilight zone here. Yeah. Or in the sunken place. Because someone really like left you out in the cold to go and talk to some hope. To go and work on things. This, this was someone who was giving some whole money. They could have been paying for sex here. But somebody had a mistress or a mister. And they were going around like treating this person like, oh yeah, I want something with you. And, hmm. and they left you for dead. Like you were nobody. Like you were nothing. Spirit said, don't worry. They need to get comfortable in that energy because that's exactly what's going to be happening to them. Thank them. Thank them for showing you that they are not your person. Spirit, please clarify the lovers. Yeah, <laughs> I told you they made it very clear. Yes, that you need to make a move. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to come towards you as well, but they want to do it quietly. Yeah. They want to do it quietly. Spirit, please clarify five of swords. Because they feel... Okay, I feel like for some of you, after this court case here and everything said and done, this person is going to try to reach out to you discreetly. Okay? Please clarify eight of swords. Because they, they're in regret, yeah. And they don't feel balanced in their life, right? But Spirit said that's, that's their karma. They need to get comfortable in that energy. And they're going to want to try to break some cycle here, right? All right. I feel like I'm actually feeling that this person is going to feel imbalanced and like they shot themselves in the foot because they know the cycle is over. You're not coming back. These fucking lame mind games and their stupid games is played out. Yeah. They know they can't come back. So they want to like see, they want to feel you out privately because they don't want to be any more embarrassed than they already are. Spirit, can I get some last messages for the collective? They don't want to feel any more embarrassed than they already are. It's like if you turn them down, at least nobody knows this time. <laughs> because before it was pretty public. But it was pretty public because of them. Because they wanted to be in their ego. And be proud. Pride comes before the fall. This is someone who could have been flaunting a third party around. Mm-hmm. And now they're struggling and they want to come back to you yeah you ain't taking no action towards this person they're not gonna have you attached all right because you're closing this cycle out you know this person just wants to attach to you because you're doing well they want to keep you stuck right and they also want to attach to you because you're stable this person lacks stability so you know there's nothing, the, the next step would be to attach themselves to somebody who's stable. This is someone who could have went to someone else thinking that they were going to have stability with them and that fell through. So now it's like, well, let me double back and see if I can get with the collective. Yeah, if the collective will take me back because they regret it. Because what they were looking for, they never even got it. <laughs> they never even freaking got it. So dumb. Well, you, you always had it. You were always the stable one. Spirit, please clarify um, attachment. What's attachment? Yeah, you are investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you just don't, you've closed out a cycle of being attached to someone who would like put you in third parties and didn't have anything to offer you and couldn't build anything and was not bringing any stability or security into the relationship. Please clarify seven of coins. You closed out a cycle with investing in people who they really, they didn't have a vested interest in you or the relationship. Yeah. You, you learned how to give to yourself here, honey. Yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. That whole cycle has changed. You're closing that out. It's done. This cycle's over. Good for you. After this court case, this is done. 
collected, it's done, okay? You can wash your hands of this, wash your hands of it, it's done. This is not your person. And they made that crystal clear for you. Mm -hmm. You are going to be rejecting them. You've already rejected them, but they missed the whole opportunity with you, okay? Emotional fulfillment, material for abundance, like, yeah, they really did fuck it up. But, you know, they weren't for you anyway. Thank them, because you're doing great without them. Hmm. Collective, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Someone is also going to be losing because of a third party. Someone may end up having, having to be forced to stay with somebody because they may, a judgment may go in your favor and it's going to affect their stability. So they're not going to have enough to take care of themselves mm -hmm. or for them to maintain some kind of look or I'm hearing status quo or lifestyle. So they're going to be forced to have to stay with someone who they don't even really want to be with. Mm -hmm. Spirit, actually, can I get one? I was just going to close this out, but can I actually get one on the world? Can I get one on the world, Spirit? Yeah, someone's going to realize that it's done. Oh my God, the world clarified by the world. It's done. Yes, chapter over. Okay, and look at this shit right here. Mm hmm this person can't come around to you again, collective, because you will cut them. <laughs> like some of you, you will physically cut this person. Some of you, your tongue, oh boy, your words, they're going to cut someone at the knees because you're protecting the fact that it's, you're protecting your newfound freedom. You're pr protecting your newfound um, wish fulfillment, this chapter of your life where you're feeling good, you're loving yourself. You're stable, you're secure, you're independent, you're self-sufficient. You are protecting it, okay? And you're not going to play nice this time around. No. Because you saw what happened last time when you did that. Mm -hmm. So you may be letting the, the cycle close and being overprotective of it now. Like I said, some of you may not be so nice, okay? You will release the Kraken on someone's ass. If they try to interfere... Someone is also realizing that they need to close out a cycle with this third party. They're going to be leaving the third party as well mm -hmm. because they want to heal things with you. They want to come out of some nightmare situation that they found themselves in because this third party, they, they're not nice, man. Oh my God. This is a lying bitch. <laughs> like she is or he is. Very malicious, mean, jealous. Love to play head games. Just bad temper, bad attitude. This person is going to be closing this out with this person because they know that. This is someone, after a court case, this third, okay. So I'm getting this with somebody here. I thought this was done, you guys. <laughs> someone could be in a relationship with somebody else right now while you and your person are going through court. or They're not your person, but you know what I mean. They're going through court and it could just be for financial or instant gratification right now, right? Those are the reasons to be in the relationship. I just heard the reason for the season. After this court case is said and done and somebody's pockets may be emptied out after that, this third party is going to leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or this, your person, your ex person, whoever it is, they are going to leave this third party because they're going to want to come back and heal things with you. This could be someone who likes the thrill of the chase or doesn't like to feel rejected or wants to test the waters to see if they could come back. This is a very distorted person that you're dealing with. And it's all, it's like a game. It's like a game to them. But this cycle is done. <laughs> yeah. Someone may have been using a third party as a fucking prop too, right? Like to show the court like, oh, I'm in a relationship. I'm in a happy relationship. I'm the more stable parent. 
And once everything is said and done in court, they just drop them. Like, well, you've served no more fucking purpose now. Like, I didn't get what I wanted. So you can go. Right? This scam didn't work. Because these two are not a match. You got the Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. What the fuck are those two doing together? <laughs> right? This is the epitome of fucking and fighting. That's all these two do. Mm -hmm. And this person's going to get tired of it. Oh, boy. Okay, 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 collective. I'm done now. For reals, I'm done. This is what I have for you. If any of it resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. You got self-control. <laughs> have yourself a fantastic uh, Sunday, okay? And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.